can we just get a moment of silence for a second? Because today is a very special day. A day where we finally create a Minecraft series Let's Play with commentary. And I know what you're all thinking. Ah, oh, come on, not, not another Minecraft series Let's Play. Come on, there's got to be thousands of these. And, you know, you're right. But, on the other hand, if you've come to click on this video in the first place, then chances are you probably are looking for a Minecraft Let's Play. And here it is, and I tend to deliver on my word. Uh, word of warning, though. Uh, this is not a live commentary, by all means. So, you know, you don't get that smooth sort of live action gameplay as, as you would with other YouTubers. Reason being is my circumstances have actually changed. So I have a kid now. So it kind of makes it hard to do audio and gameplay at the same time. Uh, so bear with me on that. But I will like to do some live gameplay footage. Uh, eventually I'll be doing uh, live streams as well. Uh, once I get a better setup. Uh, we are looking to move into a bigger place. So I can actually have a separate room. Because right now we are living in a shit place. Like... A really shit place. Uh, to be fair, for the for the price of it, it's it's all right. It's it's small, but it's cheap. So we're okay for another year on. But anyways, onwards and upwards, I suppose. You got to start from somewhere, right? And uh, so yeah, let's just uh, you know try and have a good time. You know, um, I've only got you know the very basic essentials like. <clears throat> The other day I went to uh, Cash Converters and got a uh, a mic, it costs like £29, uh, so it's, it is quite noobish, but you know, I don't really, really want to go all out, uh, especially uh, it's my first time doing this, so um, you know, I've always wanted to make videos ever since I was a kid, so, so here I am, uh, finally doing it at uh, 24 years old, 25 this year, so uh, yeah. Um, well, anyways, I would hope to do some live commentaries, because they, they, they are better to watch. They are better to watch, and it's really hard to babble on whilst over the gameplay footage, you know? it's uh, It, it just doesn't feel natural. Um, maybe if I was working in a radio station, uh, I'd be used to it, but, you know, I, I, I need to get used to everything, and... We'll just play it by ear and, you know, enjoy the time that we have. And, you know, the more I do it, the better I'll improve. Um, I don't expect to get any views or subs. If anything, this is just a tester to just to gain, gain my confidence a little bit. Uh, and, you know what, it'll be good for my social skills as well. So, and I'll just improve and get better and better and better. And, anyways, on with the series. So, as you can see, we've spawned in a Stony Shores biome. I believe it's a Stony Shores biome. Uh, to be honest, this wasn't a very good spawn. I, I really wasn't happy with this spawn. It is... Uh, as you could see, we, were, we only spawned near two trees. Uh, so, that, that was kind of a disappointment. You can see some trees in the background uh, behind all the ice caps. Uh, but then I really wouldn't, really, really, really wouldn't want to settle here. Um, so I thought, mm, I'll get some stone. Uh, I have enough sticks and planks to make stone tools. Um, I'll go off and try and find somewhere better, you know? Uh, um, that's what this episode is really going to be about, is me trying to settle for a home and to find a good place to stay. Uh, because obviously if you want to do a Minecraft series, you got to do it properly. You can't just live in a shitty stone biome. Uh, you know, you want somewhere around you with villages, um, you know, a nice view, good open land, plenty of mob spawning. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's not the best of starts. And to be fair, I could have just restarted the world and until I found somewhere good. But to be fair, doing that, it would have taken just as much time. So, um, 
I hope you appreciate that uh, there is about an hour's worth of footage which I have to edit, so it's a good job I actually got it down to 30 minutes because really it was it was such a pain in the ass to edit and you know thinking ah oh, do they really need to see that do they really need to see that my my editing skills aren't that good uh just a word of warning so uh don't expect any miracles <laughs> as you can see uh my house building skills are not going to be the best at the minute because all i just want to do is find a good place to settle uh i'm really not happy where i am at the minute and a lot of this episode is me walking about trying to find a place so uh, this is going to be really terrible houses and I doubt I'll ever come back to this place again because uh, to be honest it's, it is just such a terrible place there's just nothing here there's no villages um, I've barely seen any mobs apart from uh, polar bears uh, so <laughs> I really don't want to stay here um, it's, it's just terrible I'm just uh, biding my time, really. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've struggled to get food the whole way, and look, look how low my hunger is. I mean, uh, all I saw was sheep, luckily. There was three of them. I uh, managed to get three wool. Um, so, yeah, m my plan would be to stay here for a bit until I finally get some uh, food, and then I can go on my ways. Um, I do see... Um, an ocean which I plan to travel across the ocean uh, just because where I am it's just full of snowy biome ice caps there's just nothing there at the start of the video I was debating whether or not to stay at the rocky biome because uh, they had plenty of coal there uh, and I thought nah it's, it's just not worth it um, I can find coal in, in caves um, and I can always make charcoal uh, worst case scenario so uh yeah um i mean yeah kind of you kind of got to bear with me at the minute uh it's uh uh it's tough times man it's tough times As you can see, I'm uh, just cooking up uh, the rest of this meat, uh, just so I can replenish some bit of hunger for the next day. Um, and then, yeah, I think we'll call it a night. Um, I definitely don't want to end the episode here. I feel like I have to achieve something, and even if it's finding a place to settle and make a shitty house like I have now, it's, it's, it's better than nothing. Um, and I have actually uh, found some pretty good stuff, actually, on, on the way. But, you know, I don't really want to have any uh, spoilers or anything. Uh, so we'll just wait until <laughs> until we get to that point. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's not too bad, considering that we haven't been into any caves or anything. Um, I suppose we have the ocean to thank for that, really. Um and yeah, so it's now a new day, and we are just going to go off into the wilderness and try and find some food and see what else we can pick up. Um, I have edited edited most of the gameplay footage out because a lot of it is just so boring, and you know, uh, it's not a very good start for the episode, I suppose, but. Um, I have high hopes for the second episode, so we have something to look forward to there. As you can see here, we have actually found some uh, mobs we can kill for some food. And uh, I don't know how you feel about the uh, subtitles I have. Um, I don't usually have them on, it's just sometimes uh, in my single player world I have, um, I was looking for some caves, because uh, I, was, I was strip mining, and uh, uh, it does help you find caves and find out where the mobs are coming from, but I will turn them off in the second episode, uh, 
because I don't really use them and it's uh yeah kind of terrible. I thought I'd just stop here just to show the true beauty of Minecraft. Uh, I I really do like the views sometimes. Uh, uh it can really look beautiful. Um, uh, see, Minecraft is just one of those games that will just never die. You know, um, to, right up there with Skyrim. Uh, I think. Uh, some other games I do play, by the way, guys. Uh, I play some Skyrim. Um, I really do like my RPG games. So, yeah, Skyrim. Um, I have a Medieval Dynasty. Uh, that, that's pretty cool. It's kind of like between Sims, uh, Minecraft, and, like, I don't know, uh, Skyrim, I suppose. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good game. Um, I might do some episodes of that but I would like to stick to Minecraft for now just because it's easy um, once I get the ball rolling um, I can start to do more games I might have two series on the run at the same time but so I can do one series of Minecraft and then another series of Skyrim or or another series of Medieval Dynasty um, I also play a bit of Rust as well uh, Rust is a good game um, it is multiplayer obviously um, those of you that don't know, um, yeah, I mean, I suppose it's it's a bit more of a complex version of Fortnite, I suppose, um, so it's more RPG, um, but yeah, um, uh, I could play some of that in the future. As you can see here, um, I finally decided to get a smoker so I can uh, uh, cook some meat quicker. <laughs> Because uh, it's just so painful sitting around waiting for for things to cook, you know? It's like, oh, uh, come on. <laughs> Especially in the early uh, part of the game where you have literally nothing. and Or if it's night time. If it's night time and you need to cook something, you have nothing else to do. Um, it's like, ah, uh, come on, man. <laughs> but, uh, but, yes. As you can see here, we're just going over the um, the ocean, uh, and I have spotted some sunken ships, and this is where we've actually got quite a lot of our stuff, considering we haven't been into any caves. Uh, so I, I think these were actually pretty good finds, uh, despite the fact we were in a really terrible place to start with. Um, so I, I suppose it did kind of make up for it. Um, I have taken my bed with me um, just because uh, I can. I know I'm gonna be gone for like a few days, so I thought, you know, take my bed because chances of me being stuck out is is you know kind of uh, obvious that's gonna happen. And we have found a buried treasure map, which also again more loot, so. That's that's great. Even more stuff to to get. Um, and it's a good job they have a uh, coal in the uh, loot chest because I really can't be bothered to mine the coal, uh, especially when I'm trying to find a place to live. And uh, let me know, guys, in the comments, uh, you know, how I can improve, like, uh, like comments, like, like, oh, you should uh, do this or like do that or, or I don't know, maybe some like editing tips because I'm terrible at editing. Um, uh, it's just something I'm gonna have to get used to, I suppose. Um, this has taken a few days, especially juggling, like, looking after a baby and and playing games and audio. Uh, Reason being, I can't do live commentary with a kid because if if uh, our kid starts crying uh, and I'm in the middle of a live commentary, I have to pause the audio and the gameplay, and the whole gameplay footage will just be staggered and 
like it is now really uh but i'd rather do the audio separately when when my behalf and baby goes out uh i can have the time to do the audio and yeah i can edit it easier to fit with the gameplay so uh yeah th there are some uh drawbacks to this obviously i only have a very newbie setup um uh, and you know it will get easier as time goes on but i really do appreciate uh constructive criticism as they call it uh because then you know you get what you want and i learn so everyone wins out of it uh i know this isn't the best <laughs> especially for the first series but for sure yeah my confidence will grow and baby steps little by little will will find you know better things There's one thing that I have really been uh, debating uh, is putting music in my videos, like even if it's like a backing track of uh, lo-fi, uh, but uh, with YouTube copyright man I just can't risk like I, my channel getting banned after like one video, despite the fact you can get royalty free music and put abbreviations in the comments, it's, uh, I'd rather just not risk it. But but then it does make the viewing experience a bit better, you know. It, it fills in those silences, and and you know you can edit the video better, and it it doesn't it makes it a bit less awkward, you know. Especially with an awkward voice like mine, you know. I'm like pausing and stuttering, and you know this, and it sounds a bit robotic. So I think music would be a very good thing to have in the background. So, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, obviously, uh, I got no viewers right now, no subscribers. So, we'll just see how it goes. And the next thing after this would be to do the thumbnail, which I'm kind of looking forward to, but dreading at the same time. It's uh, uh, yeah, it's it's, it's all a learning curve for me. So, yeah, um, a lot of my thumbnails are going to be screenshots from in-game obviously um obviously edited um but, but yeah as you can see here i'm really failing at getting these chests it's like uh, it, it just takes so long to mine dirt and gravel underwater uh, i should have made a shovel to be honest but to be honest my inventory is so full that I just didn't really think of it to be honest. I was thinking of skipping this whole bit out but I thought maybe it would be kind of funny to watch. Um, so yeah. As you can see we have four diamonds so far so that's not too bad for the first episode. For the first episode, it's not so bad. And, you know, we haven't had a proper start. We haven't even made a house yet. Uh, we made that little shack at the beginning. Uh, but that was literally just a pit stop. Um, yeah, I have so much more land to cover yet before I actually find the pace. And, you know, I'm actually quite happy with the place we settled with. So I have some high hopes. As you can see, we have another ship in the distance. Uh, I think in the end, I did actually uh, skip some of the ships because my inventory was so full. I could have made a chest boat, but then I, I wasn't sure how far inland I'd have to go. So I thought, eh, it's nothing we can't get anyways. I mean, we will be going mining and cave exploring. So I'm not too bothered. I just really want to find a place to stay now it's just getting ridiculous As 
you can see here, we got another diamond. So five diamonds on episode one, eh? We can make a pickaxe and a sword. And a sword, yeah. Pickaxe and a sword. Five, three plus two is five. Yeah, we can make a sword and a pickaxe. Although I would like to save them, to be fair. And here we are with some more coal, which is uh, which is uh, very needed in the early days of Minecraft. We don't have any more uh, uh, treasure maps though, which I was hoping to save them up and come back for them, but there we go, that's just how life is. The funny thing is, with this ship, uh, I had to dig out all of the sand, and it was right underneath all the sand. Uh, so I, I definitely edited, edit, uh, edited that bit out, because I had to sleep during the night, it took me like 10 minutes. Here we found a uh, a broken nether portal under under the water. I thought, nah, <laughs> nothing good in there. There was a gold block, but my inventory is too full to even bother about that. So, uh, if there was anything we could have stacked, like diamonds uh, or iron, I would have taken it. But for now, it's, it's not worth it. And we have finally made it to to uh to shore. Um, this is the part where I was mainly just running in a sh in one direction in a straight line to find a place. Uh, I just kept running, just kept running, just kept running. <laughs> As you can see, we're back to uh, the snowy biome and the the glaciers. I'm pretty sure this is where the spawn was. I think we've done full circle here, but I'm not too sure. Um, there was also uh, the uh, rocky biome bit, so I could have done full circle, I'm not too sure. I, I haven't been keeping tabs on it. Now this is looking a lot better. As you can see we have like a river, we have this, these beautiful mountains. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd quite like to sit up home around here, to be honest. Um, and I don't see any sign of any oceans or or um, icy biomes. So, um, yeah, I have high hopes for this place. So, you know, um, now it's time to really, you know, find a village of some sort nearby. Because um, I would like to breed villagers and, you know, make an iron farm or... Um, I definitely like to use them for their enchantments. That's definitely what I need them for. So um, I wouldn't like to live in the village just because of the pillagers and the zombies, but I would like to have one nearby. Oh wow! Would you look at this? Look at that nice snowy mountain in the distance. This place is beautiful, man. It's that nice open cave over there. I'd love to go and explore that cave at some point. Maybe build something on the top of that mountain. Uh, yeah, this is actually looking pretty good. As you can see over there in the distance, exactly what I'm looking for, a village. And what better place to set up home than here? I mean, you have mountain ranges, you have amazing looking caves that you can see from miles away. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this place. I'm so glad that, you know, I persisted in, in finding this place because it really is beautiful. As you can see, we have plenty of spaces down here to build farms. Uh, it's quite an even surface, to be honest, considering it's near mountains uh, at the bottom. But, you know, uh, we can build quite a few buildings, uh, maybe have a little village or settlement. Uh, bring some of the villagers down to the village 
uh, that we make instead of vamping up the their village. We can make our own, you know. Um, I hope to tame some uh, zombie villagers as well. So, yeah, this place is looking pretty good. We have plenty of forest in the background to get some wood. Um, I might go back to the icy biome and get some spruce saplings just so we can have a variety of uh, wood uh, because I do like the spruce. Um, although, to be fair, oak is good enough, to be honest. Uh, I do like oak. Uh, spruce is good just for the bit of contrast, you know. Um, we're not going to be making the best house here uh, because, you know, we are kind of short for time and I have been playing for fucking ages. So we all just set up a little newbie house like we did before. Um, and then I think we'll call it an episode because uh, next episode will be much more exciting. Um, I'll try and do a live commentary, actually. Um, what I might do is duplicate my world uh, and record the second episode on the duplicated world and if that doesn't work out then I can just do the same as I did on this episode and do the gameplay uh, and the audio separate just you know because of complications with baby and stuff like that so we'll just have to play it by ear as you can see I'm just getting some wood so I can make my newbie house um, I have been playing Minecraft for about 10 years now, and I still consider myself a noob. As you can see here, this is, oh my god, what am I doing here? This is just, it's like, this is something a noob would do, something like a five-year-old would do when, you know, discovering what Minecraft is. And, learning the controls. I'm like, really? I'm just thinking and I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I should have moved the the uh, the chest. Uh, maybe I should have moved the crafting table somewhere like in the center rather than on the edge. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really do consider myself a noob, even though I've been playing for 10 years. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I do, I do actually play on normal difficulty. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe in the future I'll, I'll try it on hard, um, just for the last, you know, uh, but yeah. As you can see, my OCD really isn't kicking in right now. I just really want to get this thing done and dusted because I've been spending far too long recording and, you know, it's just eating up memory on my laptop so uh so yeah as you see i am resourceful um i do use half slabs for the roof especially if i'm short on on wood uh <laughs> here we are guys here is here is my house uh I don't worry, I will make improvements to it, I promise. I will make improvements, because there's nothing worse than having a newbie house. There really isn't. Uh, I would like, you know, a semi-decent house, you know, with texturing and uh, a nice storeroom. Uh, get a little farm going. Uh, plenty of cows, so I'm not going to kill them yet. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to kill them yet. I think next episode I'll go to the village, uh, see if they have wheat and we can start breeding some cows as soon as possible. Uh, that's what I'd like to do in the next episode. Um, uh, maybe even get some pigs. I, I have some carrots, so uh, get a pig farm going and a cow farm going. Uh, and yeah, just set up the base, make the house look a bit prettier. So yeah, that's what we're going to do next episode, guys. And there we go, guys. Uh, to sum it all up, we've uh, travelled miles and miles of distance uh, covering a lot of land um, to finally find our permanent home hopefully uh, yeah um, I would say like comment subscribe but I know that's not realistic uh, especially for the first episode um, but do give me feedback because it's always appreciated I can always improve and make it better for you guys and you know that's that's all i want i i want to have a good time and i want you guys to have a good time as well that's 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 all i care about and 
you know, I, I do this for fun as a hobby. You know, I, I'm not doing it for the money. Um, I do work full time. Mm. So this is something I've always wanted to do since a kid. And here I am. So, yeah. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Um, and yeah, have a great day.